Is there life on Mars? Elon Musk just revealed this. Is there really life on Mars? Have you considered residing on Mars? Have you considered how cool that would be? But hold on, supposedly something has just been discovered. Since its inception two decades ago, the possibility of establishing a new civilization on a different planet has captivated the multi-billion dollar company SpaceX. Hello science lovers, welcome to our channel, Discovery Scene. Watch the full video to find out what Elon Musk just exposed about NASA's terrifying discovery on Mars. The next human species will thrive on Mars, according to Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, who has given this mission top priority. This was at first thought to be a ridiculous idea by many people, including scientists. Nevertheless, as preparations got underway, it started to appear like a real possibility. Because of a finding made by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Elon Musk's plan for the world to undergo a complete change. Elon Musk, as we are familiar with him, has been committed to the colonization of Mars from the start of his business. He has an incredibly keen vision. Numerous machines are being created to aid in this endeavor, and his firm is still flourishing. A self-sustaining metropolis on Mars is one of the objectives of this mission, according to the CEO of SpaceX. This city, which has the potential to make humans a multi-planetary species, may house a million people. By 2029, according to Musk, this vision will be accomplished, but the Mars mission is expected to keep him occupied for the next 30 years. Musk gave an explanation of why he and his team are working so hard to accomplish this goal. He praised the February 2022 Starship Progress Report as a major achievement for the continuation of life. Since the beginning of time, people have lived on Earth amid heavy pollution and a climate that is constantly warming. Musk claimed that there is a possibility that something bad may happen on Earth as a result of this. His plans will eliminate any potential risk if it happens, and the audience will be excited simply by hearing about this proposal because it aims to be built something novel. Quote, Life must involve more than just fixing challenges, end quote. Musk stated this at a conference. Something has to touch your heart and encourage you when you wake up. Because of these factors, you will feel hopeful about the future. Space enthusiasts initially thought that Musk would have completed the trip by the middle of the 2020s, launching the first group of humans to Mars. That's unfortunate since it won't, but to their surprise, Elon Musk tweeted that it's likely Mars colonization would be finished by the end of 2029. When he posted a picture of astronauts posing on the red planet, he made this revelation. Additionally, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has long been researching Mars. According to NASA, Musk's plan to colonize Martian soil may be thwarted by radiation in the Martian atmosphere. The radiation in the atmosphere will be too toxic for men to breathe while they are trying to learn more about the Red Planet, which is one of the reasons the space agency hasn't been able to send people to Mars. To explore the Martian landscape, NASA chose rovers. NASA's investigation of Mars was motivated by curiosity instead. There are two types of radiation according to the rover's radiation detection system. Radiation from Mars includes cosmic rays. These rays are particles were created by the supernova explosions and other high-energy phenomena outside the solar system. Massive solar ejections, which are associated with solar flares, are the other form of radiation. People who aim to spend three months on Mars and astronauts could be in danger from these radiation related health problems. After the Curiosity rover landed in the Gale Crater, a team of international researchers examined data for more than 20 atmospheric events that occurred nearby. These incidents included at least one whirlwind-related occurrence. It was recorded by the equipment at the rover's environmental monitoring station. Some of the warning signs included a brief drop in air pressure, a shift in wind direction, and an increase in air temperature, as well as a change in speed or a reduction in UV light reaching. Two of the incidents out of all of the ones that were noticed had all five traits, earning them the name Rover. It would be tragic if we had to migrate from Earth to Mars only to need radiation suits once we got there. Whatever the may be the case, Musk has realized and already outlined his ideas and provided a detailed description of what a city on Mars might look like, declaring the first phase in his colonization of Mars would be to build a big urban center. Like we do currently on Earth, everyone would be able to live and work in this city. It would be available to everyone, not just scientists and researchers. Everybody who would want to migrate to Mars but can only afford to pay their travel with a loan. These people can work in places like pizza parlors and iron foundries to pay back the loan when they get there. 
Wow, just getting rich on another planet. Don't you guys want to go to Mars? You'll be called Martians. <laughs> just kidding. If you're wanting a video like this, then hit the like button and the subscribe to our channel to learn more about other shocking and terrifying discoveries. As stated in the Starling Internet Terms and Conditions when they were published in October of 2020, the city would have the ability to govern itself on its own terms. Musk thought that these two documents, Starlink and the 1967 Treaty, would be set on a different course from colliding since he anticipated that there would be a labor shortage for quite a while. This, however, is in the violation of the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, which states that all other space activities must be under the control of the nation that launched the spacecraft. In 2019, the United States would therefore be in command of the Red Planet in accordance with the 1967 Treaty. A self-sustaining city on Mars would require a million metric tons of cargo, according to Musk. The total cost of the city will be close to $100 billion if it costs $100,000 just to ship one container to Mars. It's also possible that SpaceX will carry on with the colonization while using more than one city as the main Mars development, bringing the total price to more than $10 trillion. Engineer Paul Worcester mentioned the upcoming August 2022 International Mars Society Congress. He clarified that the intention is for the standout to initially grow into a larger base as opposed to what is found in Antarctica and to be more than just an outpost. However, there are villages and towns that grow into cities and ultimately lots of cities on Mars. But would having multiple cities on Mars be a good idea? The second NASA discovery contradicts the first. It is still unclear how Elon Musk's various cities would operate without liquid water since the National Aeronautic and Space Administration has already verified that it is not there. Even though water and ice and an undersea river have been found, more is still needed to support all cities. The atmosphere of current on Mars is not promising since it's too thin to support a planet's steady flow of water, despite the fact that it is this way in the planet's early past. Rebecca Williams, a principal reporter at the Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, summarized the testing on the rocks of the group-specific science journals as follows. Williams stated that, quote, We did more extensive quantification of the outcrops to determine the size distribution and roundness of the pebbles and sand that make up these conglomerates, end quote. She deduced that their calculation was within the bounds of the earlier range of estimates. This calculation indicated that the stream was flowing at a rate of 3 feet per second or 1 meter per second, which was comparable to walking. Despite the fact that we can't pinpoint the exact length of time based on these observations, researchers believe that gravel was carried by the stream for at least a few miles or kilometers. Currently, Mars's atmosphere is too thin to sustain a stream. These conglomerate rocks offered proof that liquid water once gushed from the Gales Crater atmosphere onto the Red Planet. Researchers will continue to review environmental history using scientific tools. With that all said, that is all for today. Did you know about any other discovery on Mars? Share your thoughts down in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if so, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and also, here are some amazing videos that I think you'll enjoy. Simply click on the left or the right video to watch it. Stay tuned for the next one, and we'll see you next time.